Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the island. We are up here in the middle of a blizzard, actually. Not just a snowstorm, it's a blizzard. At the Blue Obelisk. We're gonna be taking on the Gamma boss fight today. We got our UD. We've got 10 of the Dire Bears down here. And they're all wearing primitive saddles. And for this boss fight, since the last ones have been going so easy while we're on this map, I turned off the single player settings. So all my other series, I've always used single player settings and that's including for the boss fights, but I turned it off for this one. The thing I didn't realize, it alters all of your stats when you do that. So, for the bears, they did have 20,000 on the health and 873% damage. They now have 11,000 on the health and 475% on the damage. And uh, all my stats are the same, but it just alters all of your teams and everything like that. So, it should be interesting. <laughs> Didn't realize it changed their stats, too. I thought it just upped the damage on the boss and stuff. But we'll see how it works out. I think it'll be fine. It should be more of a challenge, like I said. The brood mother was very, very simple. And then for the artifacts, we have all three of them here. For the artifact of the brute, that's the one that's down in the underwater cave. Everybody's been telling me that I lucked out with that cave not having anything spawned in. So I went back to grab another artifact, went on the basil, and more stuff has spawned in. There's a ton of jellyfish, a ton of eels. There's pleasy in there. Uh, a lot of megs. I didn't see any of the Moses, but there is a lot more stuff. And I got some good biotoxin out of it for some more shocking trank darts when we go to do more taming. Let's go ahead and put that away. We were ice cubing when the snowstorm hit. So hopefully we'll get in here and get this done. We'll see how these 10 work out. We might need to bring more. And I think just for the boss fights on this map, I'll just turn single player settings off every time I go to do one. Depending on how this goes. So it should be about the same as official server settings. Alright, looks like everybody made it. It's always a good thing. Let's see, where are we going? I guess over that way. Oh, we're ice cubing again. Let's get everybody to follow. Hopefully we can make it through this before I end up taking too much health damage. You guys coming? Cool. Gotta make sure everybody's with us. We're gonna be falling off. Need everybody that we have since we have our settings changed now. And there is the big ape there. Alright guys, you know what to do. Let's get in here. You guys go for him. I'll give you a nice little boost. Everybody try to stay alive please. It would be greatly appreciated. There's only a few of us. And holy crap, are we doing a lot less damage, and he's doing a lot more than usual. Alright, a little bit more boost for them. I don't know if doing the fear roar does anything for the boss fights, but well, I mean, we'll try it out. Guys, him, don't worry about me. I better get in here and do some damage too. Just because I don't want, I don't want to lose everybody with us having these, these settings different. Not the little buff. Holy crap, that thing does 1,200 damage almost. And he's calling those guys in like crazy. Dude, we are out of stamina. Oh, we're out of stamina. Who's flinging poo? That is not nice. <laughs> oh, look at all the little monkeys, too. They're cute but deadly. I'm just saying. Don't let their small size fool you. So he's down to about half. We seem to be doing all right still. I don't see too much damage on any of the bears. Get another little boost going for him. Right as all of them got pushed back. Got about a third of his health left. Dude, we're out of stamina, but we need to need to power through it. Hopefully the UD doesn't take too much Torpor from it. Nice, nice. Come on, guys. Almost done, man. Quarter left. Quarter left. A little bit more courage from you. For you. <laughs> Yep, my UD is taking Torpor from running him out of stamina so bad. 
Nice, he's about done. One last boost. All right, guys, get in there. Finish it off. Almost. Nice. Dude, that's a lot tougher. I'll give it to you on that. That's a lot tougher not using single-player settings. I don't think we lost any bears. Oh, man, some of them are beat up horribly bad. Look at this dude here. Oh, we almost lost him. Almost lost him. He's doing fine. Almost lost him. Oh, yeah. We're going to definitely need to take more than 10 in for the beta. And for the alpha, I'll probably need to take in a pig, too, maybe, for healing. I don't know. What did we get? We got 40 element sheets. A very lovely blue flag. Blue is my favorite color. And then a trophy. That looks pretty cool. I wish it was blue, but I'm guessing it's green for the gamma. I'm guessing blue for the alpha, or blue for the beta, and then we'll get a red one for the alpha. That's pretty cool looking, though. Let's get out of here. I need to cryopod these guys, and we need to fly back to base and put everything out. Whoa, I am on a bear. That was weird. So I think... Let's see. Let's turn everybody off. Everybody stop moving, stop moving. Shaking the ground. I think we're definitely going to need to take in quite a few more. I did bring a bird with us. Just because we're so far away from base, I didn't want to have to ride the UD all the way back or all the way here. But I got a lot of healing to do on these guys. We'll get back. I need to make a trophy stand, and then we'll put that up on the wall and put the flag out, see how everything looks, and go from there. All right, let's go ahead and drop him up here. Back here. Where are you going? You don't live over there anymore, man. <laughs> Dude, trying to go where we used to keep him. Cool. Oh, yeah, and I painted my fur armor, if you hadn't noticed. Finally got a cooking pot out. Got some nice dyes. Made up a ton of dyes this time. So let's see. Let's throw... Where are we keeping all the element at? 40 more sheets. So we got 264. Not too bad. We're going to need some of this. We're going to need some of these. And I'm thinking we might need to make our trophy wall bigger. I don't know. We'll have to see how it looks with this one. Because it's only too wide, and I think it's getting kind of crowded. Let's put this flag out first. Try to put it right behind this one. Nice, man. Nice. That looks so good. So we got that one, and we got that one. All we got to do is get all four of the alpha ones and have the flag there and then our trophy room will be complete of course once we get the other trophies up on the wall as well let's try to get this somewhat centered yep i think it's gonna be too small we'll have to see how big the other one is it's because these little legs stick out so far you know nice nice oh wait a minute his face isn't green dude it should have been green like the the icon was is his eyes different colors they are it's kind of creepy but, not too bad. So we have this done here. We got our flag. All we gotta do now is, I'm gonna have to breed some more of the dire bears. I think I'm gonna play on single player settings for everything, but when we go to do the boss fights, I'll change it to, I'll turn that off. Just because, I don't know, it was more of a challenge. I kinda like it. I don't know why this map, the boss fights seem so, so easy compared to the other maps. Maybe because this was the first one? I don't know. But, we are gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Short video, but I don't know. I like it. That was a pretty good boss fight. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.